Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna end up on some research, that, well, an area that I am just gaga about and really interested in it. And it's basically rosacea, ocular rosacea, blepharitis, and how the microbiome affects that. We know, uh, we know that the microbiome in patients who have acne is, is very different than those who don't. We also know that our friend Demodex lives on our skin. Now, I love Demodex as a, as, a, as a study. It's one of the most interesting things. This is actually a, a photograph. This is not, a, this is not a, an eye photograph. This is a picture of somebody's skin. And this is a rosacea patient. And this, and this right here, these little white dots are actually the, the, the Demodex on their skin. And Demodex is such an interesting uh, organism, and it obviously falls in beautifully with this talk. It's, it's part of the microbiome, and it's really part of the microbiome of your eye, okay? Certainly of your lashes. Now, what's interesting about De Demodex is that the mites actually cause, um, act, they, have, they activate this TLR2, toll-like receptor, okay, which increases, so just the mites themselves increase inflammation in and around the eye. But what's even more interesting to me about these Demodex is that the Demodex have their own digestive tract, right? They're just like us, no, they're, but the, the, they, they eat bacteria, and then this bacteria, B. Uh, bacillus oleronius, is that how you pronounce it? I wish I had my Latin from my son. Um, basically, this, this uh, bacteria is eaten by the Demodex. And then the best part about this is that, th that well, the, 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 the interesting thing about that, that bacteria is that it actually itself induces an antigenic and an inflammatory response that are very, that's very specific in rosacea patients. Now, how does that bacteria get on your, your face and on your eyelids? Well, it turns out the Demodex actually pukes it up or the Demodex dies. So one of those two things occurs. And it just makes it very interesting to think about now the microbiome is not just the microbiome, it's not just the bacteria that live in our skin, it's the bacteria that live in the parasites that live in our skin. So, it's a, so, and then, so then the question is, how do you control the parasites? So you can see that the number, the complexity of the talk that I'm giving today, kind of my mind, my brain just starts exploding with like unanswered questions. And we are just literally just scratching the surface, but it's important. The take home point is that this is important, that this is going to become the future of a lot of what we do in medicine, but we don't really understand it. But what's interesting is that when you, um, when you take this bacteria, you get and, cre and you put it on the, and you expose uh, patients or skin, what happens is that, again, our, friend, our famous friend, matrix metalproteinase, increases. Tumor necrosis factor increases. IL-8 increases. So all these inflammatory responses get increased by this bacteria. Okay, we know that these that that again that probiotics actually are used quite successfully in acne patients. Now it's not the only thing they can do, but we know that the gut of patients um, with acne is different than people who don't have acne. We know that the gut, and we know that by using probiotics, you can improve. You can actually help patients who have acne. Um, okay, now I'm going to go back to one thing here, and I'm going to tell you the life cycle of this. It turns out that, how does this relate to the gut? Well, it turns out that there are some conditions like SIBO. Have everybody heard of SIBO, small uh, intestinal bacterial overgrowth? Patients who have SIBO, okay, have, are, are linked to having rosacea. And then the link could be that this bacteria is more produced in the gut of those SIBO patients. Gets on, you know, you poop it out. It gets onto your skin, the parasites eat it, and the parasites then puke it up, and then this bacteria irritates your eyes and you get blepharitis um, and rosacea and dry disease. 